Mystery Theater. Starring Tom Conway as Inspector Mark Saber of the Homicide Squad. In the case of the hair of the dog. Want to see something fast? So fast you need a stopwatch to time its speed? Then watch this. And now here's something else that's so fast you need a stopwatch to time its speed. Yes, a Bayer aspirin tablet. Just drop it in a glass of water and see, it starts to disintegrate almost instantly. And it does the same thing in your stomach. It's actually ready to go to work with amazing speed. That's one reason why when you take Bayer aspirin to relieve a headache, it makes you feel better fast. In addition, Bayer aspirin is wonderfully gentle. So gentle, doctors prescribe it even for small children. So for the fast relief you want and the gentle relief you need, use Bayer aspirin. It's available in convenient packages of 12 or 24 tablets or in the 100 tablet package for the home. When you buy aspirin, don't look for a bargain. The best always costs more. So be sure you're getting the best by Bayer aspirin. The case of the hair of the dog. Yeah, Murray? You're a real inspiration to guys like me. What do you mean? You made your dough. You're doing all right. Yeah. You've come a long way in a short time, Red. Yeah. But I ain't got what you got. You'll make it. If you stay out of trouble. Oh, I don't mind a little trouble, Murray. That's why I don't want you in with me. Just as you say, Mari. In this business, there's no such thing as a little trouble. Yeah, I guess you're right. You can make it in this business. It's keeping it that matters. Yeah. And you figure on keeping yours, huh? <laughs> well, I got a blow. You're doing all right, Red. Don't get too ambitious. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Where are you going, Ritter? What's it to you, Copper? I've got an invitation for you. They want to see you downtown. For what? Seems there's been a little trouble over on the east side within the last couple of hours. What's that to me? It's got your trademark on it, Ritter. And there's an all-points bulletin out to bring you in. You can't make this rust stick, Copper. I just left Mario Lawton. Been with him for the last couple of hours. Well, we can check that alibi right now. Okay, take over. The apartment right here. Well, that's funny. He was here. Help! Help! Got a key? Yeah. Open up. It's the police. Okay, Johnson. Lawton. Hotchkiss. Yes, sir. When did Ritter leave this apartment? Uh, you mean that, uh, that red-headed fella? Yeah. Well. Less than five minutes ago, like I told you. You sure? Well, sure, I'm sure. Johnson, get rid of, take him downtown, and book him for the murder of Maury Lawton. Hi, Inspector. Hello, Sergeant. You seem pretty happy. I'm always happy when one of these hood stubs is still. Sergeant. 
Somebody stubbed his toe? I'll say. Mr. Red Ritter. We picked up that old points bulletin to bring Ritter, Maganini, and Lopez in for questioning. Coming down the street here, when who should walk out of the building but Red Ritter? Admitted he had just left Mari Lawton here in this apartment. I came up to check, and I find Ritter's alibi with a hole in his back. Uh, what's that? Looks like dog hair. Mm -hmm. Well, been dead less than an hour. Stabbed in the back. All right, boys. Find the murder weapon? Not yet. I got men looking for it. Can't be far. Ritter didn't have much time. It seemed pretty certain it was Ritter. It has to be. He admitted he just left here. Hotchkiss identified him. And he let himself be picked up, leaving the scene of the crime? He was unlucky, that's all. Everything's under control, Inspector. This is Hodgkiss, the elevator man and janitor. How are you, Mr. Hodgkiss? I'm fine. Say, what do you think of our murder? Pretty good, eh? First one I've had. Had a suicide once, though. Pretty girl. Did you know Mr. Orton well? Did I know him? Well, he lived here, didn't he? Well, of course I knew him. Nice guy, too. Big shot gambler, lots of dough. Yep, but that red-headed fella, I didn't like his looks. I took him up about nine and brought him down again about 11. That's about two minutes before the sergeant came in. Did Mr. Lawton have any friends in the building? No, and that's what I can understand because he really was a nice guy. Who else could have come in here? Well, nobody, not even Billy Griff. Who is Billy Griff? Well, that was Mr. Lawton's partner. He didn't have a key? No, nobody had a key. I'm telling you that the red-headed guy, all right. Who lives in that apartment over in the other wing? Oh, that ain't a wing in this building. That's another building. Entrance around the corner. No fire escapes on this side. The fire escapes in this building all connect with the hallways. I see. We're on the tenth story, aren't we? Yep, tenth floor. Just right for jumping. Did I tell you about the you girl? You certainly did. And I must say, I enjoyed it immensely. They sure broke your door, didn't they? Well, they had to. You see, Lawton had this special lock put on. And then when he put this chain across, well, then nobody could open the door from the outside. Thank you, Mr. Hotchkiss. You've been a great help. We may have to call on you again. Anytime, sir. Anytime at all. Look, Mark, why waste your time? It's an open and shut case. Here's how it happened. You see this thin line of blood stains right here? We're to stab Lawton on this spot. Lawton then staggered forward and collapsed where we found him. Ritter then left the room, went down the elevator with Hotchkiss, and a couple of minutes later walked right into my loving arms. You've forgotten one little detail, Tim. I know, the murder weapon, but it'll show up. I don't mean that. I'm thinking of the chain on the door. It can only be fastened from the inside. The dead man couldn't do that. The open window might mean something if he'd been shot, but he wasn't. He was stabbed. We've got to find out how it was done. I still think Ritter's mixed up in this killing somewhere. Well, perhaps he is. He has motive enough, according to the ethics of his uh, profession. And what about Billy Griff? He was Lawton's partner. Yes, he's a prospect. Isn't that Lanny Winters, the nightclub girl? Yeah. To Maury with all my love, Lanny. Here's something strange for a man of Lawton's habits and taste. Snuff. Yeah. Wait a minute. Here's an account book. This might be important. The names seem to be in code, but it's a list of possibilities. We better have a talk with Mr. Billy Griff in the morning. Oh, come in, Inspector. Billy Griff, you were Maury Lawton's partner, weren't you? Yes, but Maury was more than a partner to me. He was more like a brother. He gave me my start. Everything I have, I owe to Maury. Where were you at the time of the murder? Why, well, right here. You seem to have done very well. I don't know, right? That's an interesting collection. Yeah. Are you a good shot? Used to be. Say, 
You're not suggesting I had something to do with this now, are you? Any trouble in the rackets? Oh, a little. But Maury know how to stay out of trouble. How about Ritter? I don't know. He's ambitious, he's tough, but he's smart, too. He'd never been found leaving a job. You're not thinking of leaving town, are you? No. Why'd you say that? We may want to talk to you again. Inspector, I'll give you all the help I can, believe me. Maury was a right guy. And besides... Besides what? Well, somebody's trying to take over. He'll be after me next. I see. Do you have a dog? No. Uh-huh. Did you see that picture of Lanny Winters? Mm-hmm. I think I'll pay her a visit. Thanks, Billy. Yes. Won't you all come in? Thank you. Sit down, won't you, Mr. Uh... Inspector Sabre. Oh, how thrilling. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Why, of course, anything at all. But may I get you some tea first? No, thank you. How well did you know Maury Lawton? Well, I'm sorry. I don't think I know anyone by that name. That's funny. The manager told me Mr. Lawton arranged for you to get this apartment. He did? Oh, I'm sorry I lied to you, Inspector, because I was afraid I'd get into trouble. Tell me how well you knew Lawton. We were friends, Inspector. Just good friends. Anything else? Well, whatever do you mean? Mr. Lawton was a mighty fine man, and I was proud to know him. I see. Oh, I hope this won't get me into any trouble. Trouble, Miss Winter? Yes, you see, I'm an entertainer at the Club Ararat, and bad publicity would hurt my career now that Mr. Lawton's been murdered and all. Getting my name in the papers wouldn't bring Mr. Lawton back, would it, Inspector? Your windows are in line with the windows of Mr. Lawton's apartment, aren't they? Well, I guess they are. He could have been shot from here. But Mr. Norton wasn't shot. According to the papers, he was stabbed. That's right. Of course it's right. And if you think I killed Mr. Lawton, you're all wrong. Because I was at the club every night last night, and three, four hundred people can prove it. Well, that should let you out. Why, you weren't suspecting little old me, were you, Inspector? Have you any idea who might have wanted to kill Lawton? Heavens, no. He was the nicest man. Why, I'll tell you one thing, though. It would have been as easy as shooting fish in a barrel. How's that? Well, he was always going around to so many places. I see. Well, just a routine call, Miss Winters. Thank you. You understand? Of course I do. Oh, Inspector. I hope you understand about the publicity. I'd hate like fun to lose my job. Of course. Will you come again, Inspector? Could be. Goodbye now. We'll return to Mystery Theater in just a moment. I didn't think you'd be able to play today, Helen. You sounded awful on the phone this morning. My stomach was terribly upset. What did you do for it? I took Philip's Milk of Magnesia and feel fine now. It's true. The same Philip's Milk of Magnesia used by millions as a laxative is an amazingly effective antacid as well and brings you quick relief from acid indigestion. Let me show you just how fast Philip's Milk of Magnesia works. This glass I'm putting it in contains an acid solution, like the acid condition of your stomach when you've overindulged in food, tobacco, or stimulants. As you can see by the indicator, the antacid action begins almost at once, and the acidity is neutralized fast. Because of this, Philips settles your stomach, eases away that hot, gnawing feeling, relieves heartburn in practically no time at all. So use it whenever you want quick, effective relief from acid indigestion. And be sure to ask for it by name. Philips Milk of Magnesia. To Mystery Theater. Oh, 
Rico Trelli? That's me. What do you want? My name's Saber, Inspector Police Department. Oh, what do you know, a copper? What are you trying to find out? Who killed the chickens? No, I want to find out how much money you owed Maury Lawton. I don't owe Maury Lawton nothing. We found his records. They say you owed him a large sum of money. Well, what about it? A dead man can't collect, can he? Maybe that's why he was killed. Maybe. Where were you last night between 9 and 11? Nowhere oh, special. Where's that? Uh, look, Copper, I don't push around easy, see? So don't try to pin anything on me. Maury Norton was stabbed to death. Yeah. You're pretty handy with a knife, aren't you, Catrelli? Yeah, and I don't like cops. Now look, Copper, you ain't got a thing on me, so get out of here. You know, Catrelli, you're losing your hair. Or are you using Lanny Winter's Pekingese as a hairpiece these days? <laughs> Get tough, huh? Mr. Catrelli has a very bad temper. Not now, Tim. What do you mean? You're not taking him in? I'll explain later. So now you see why I didn't want Louis Catrelli brought in. Catrelli's a very frightened man. He might do something foolish. I want him free to do it. And I want a tail on him, day and night. Already taken care of. Good. What about Lanny Winters? Airtight alibi. Three, four hundred people saw her between nine and eleven, just like she said. But here's something that should interest you. Some more dog hair. Mm-hmm. From Ritter's coat. He's out on a habus, isn't he? Yeah, this morning. Lanny Winters. I wonder what her racket is. Mm, it's not hard to guess, but she covers up pretty well. All roads lead to Lanny Winters, don't they, Tim? Or to her apartment. There must be some connection here, but it's not the obvious one. Well, we know Lanny Winters was Mari Lawton's girlfriend. Well, Lawton thought she was. And that most of the suspects seem to know her quite well. That's right. But there's nothing strange or particularly revealing about that fact alone. If Lanny Winters was running a route, and we know she was, that might provide the motive for the murder. But that don't explain how Lawton was killed. That's the point. It must be more than a coincidence that the window of Lanny Winters' apartment is on a line with Lawton's. Now, you don't think she had Catrelli throw a knife across that area where he then sent her dog to retrieve it, do you? I don't know, Tim. But that's as good an explanation as we've had to date. Where are you going? Lanny Winters ties all the loose ends together, at present, anyhow. I'm going to accept her very warm invitation to call again. Don't get any dog hairs on your coat. What do you want, Copper? You invited me to call again. Well, I don't want any. I'd like to ask you some more questions. Well, I don't know any more answers. I was hoping you'd ask me in. I wanted to take a look around. You got a search warrant. No. Then stay out. As I was saying to your friend Louis Catrelli. I don't know any Louis Catrelli. Oh, then it must have been Snuffy Walker. I don't know any Snuffy Walker. How about Red Ritter? No, Scram! You know, Lanny, it's funny. What's funny? You don't know anybody. But your dog knows everybody. Oh, by the way, you've forgotten something. Your southern accent. Oh. Tim, listen. Get me a warrant to search Lanny Winter's apartment. Yes, she was there, but I wasn't welcome. Anything new? Somebody took a shot at Billy Griff. I got ballistics working on it now. Mr. Griff is very nervous. I'll go and see him.
Who is it? Inspector Saber. Come in, Inspector. What's the matter, Billy? You seem nervous. Well, somebody took a shot at me. So I heard. Yeah, I just parked my car on Wilshire. I was walking down the street when it happened. I know. The bullet launched in one of the billboards. The ballistics boys are studying it. It may give us a clue. Did you see who shot at you? No, no. Would you tell me if you did? Of course I would. Do you think I want to get my head blown off? Maury didn't get his head blown off. No? He was stabbed inside a locked room. And the murder weapon disappeared. Well, I guess I must be getting the jitters, that's all. You have some interesting pictures here, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't you worry. I think I know how Maury was killed. By the way, how was Bermuda? Huh? Bermuda. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bermuda was swell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good night, Billy. Good night.
On your way, Griff. This guy, Griff, was pretty ambitious. He wanted to take his partner's share of the business, his partner's girl. And he wanted us to put his competitor, Red Ritter, out of business. But I still don't know how the murder was committed. Lanny Winters gave me the idea. She said, like shooting fish. Somehow the word stuck in my mind. And then I saw a picture of Billy Griff wearing a skin diving mask. Here, I've been saving this for you. What is it? The latest piece of skin diving equipment. A powerful pneumatic spear gun. Noiseless and accurate. Look, I'll show you. And you always get your bullet back. Uh-huh. I get the point. Oh. Lawton got the point. It costs more to travel the nation's great superhighways, but it's well worth it. Just look at these cars zoom along the great New Jersey Turnpike. No doubt about it, you get more speed and greater comfort, too, when you travel the great deluxe highways. In other things, too, like this Mole Deluxe Brushless Lather, real quality pays off in better shades. Yes, men, when it comes to your face, it pays to use the finest product of its kind, Mole Deluxe. Deluxe quality always costs more, but it's well worth it. Mole Deluxe is so much faster, so much richer, so much smoother, you'll say, here's shaving comfort fit for a king. We're so sure Mole will please you that we guarantee it to give you not just a good shave, but the best shave you've ever had, or you get back your full purchase price. So get Mole Deluxe today for the closest, smoothest, most comfortable shave in your life. It's king size, fit for a king. Tim scraped his knee. Mother has just the thing to stop the pain and help prevent infection. Campho Finique. It doesn't burn and hurt like iodine. Campho Finique, ideal first aid for cuts, scratches, and minor burns. It stops pain instantly, helps prevent infection, promotes rapid healing. Remember the name, Campho Finique. again next week for another exciting adventure with Inspector Mark Saber of the Homicide Squad. Mm -hmm.